they had to embark on a on a path of uh, consolidation and which is both credible and and doable and and that's something which you know every time uh, we have been in the in what we call as the article 4 consultation we've been talking about how japan needs to consolidate its fiscal position and now with interest rate normalization happening you know as you said martin now that interest rates have risen from zero they uh, they they increased to 0.25 in july and monetary policy normalization is happening it puts even more onus on the fiscal to consolidate and and we've been pushing them on that all right, so you know, whenever you've got a debt situation, you've got a, a couple options. Not many, but but uh, but still a couple options, uh, right? You can try and grow your way out of uh, the debt, and at the rate or pace Japan's growing, I'm not sure it can do that. You can try and monetize the debt as well, which is the path that they seem to have been uh, taking. Is that uh, is that sustainable? No, actually, what I mean, they, at this point in time, given where the debt situation, the, the, you know, you mentioned the number on debt, debt as a share of GDP is pretty high. And what we've been advising them is to come up with credible measures to, consol to consolidate uh, the fiscal. And, and that can happen many ways. You can uh, through revenue measures or through cutting expenditures. But either way, they have to embark on fiscal consolidation, especially given the fact that monetary policy is on a normalization path. You know, and when you compare the situation with uh, China, which obviously is struggling with its own uh, debt problem, I've seen some numbers which uh, raised at least my eyebrows, right? When you factor in, I mean, this is total debt, right, including the provinces, et cetera. It's actually 300 percent of uh, GDP, which is even worse than uh, Japan. A lot of folks are saying what China needs to do uh, is, 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 is well, I mean, the, the first thing they, they, they need to do, they've already embarked on, right, which is starting to cut rates. The other thing they need to do is start to deleveraging. Do you see China doing that? So, so Martin, again, we have to be careful here. We talked about the fact that China faces a uh, risk of deflation. They have problems with the property sector, which they have to address. So in the, in the very short term, I think China will need to, will may have to uh, spend some uh, fiscal, use some fiscal, uh, some of its fiscal space to rehabilitate the property sector. But over the medium term, and I'm talking about, say, two years out, they have to start consolidate, consolidating in earnest. So in the, me, in the short term, China may need to spend more to address the problem in the property sector and also change the composition of the fiscal to have more rebalancing to boost consumption by improving social safety nets. But beyond the two years, it needs to start consolidating in earnest. And that's what we've been advocating for China.